Tommy G. And it's Pete J. We're still here. Still here in Dallas. I haven't left yet. <laughs> I know. I'm getting tired of it. I, at least throw us a, a night game here and there, you know, but it's been so far, you know, what is it, six now? Six home games, all of them day games? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's fine if you if you got other stuff going on during the night, but uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this one a Tuesday, a Tuesday night, so you get uh, you get the the real fans here tonight. <laughs> yeah, the diehards are here. Yeah, uh, we're we're going up against this New York team, this uh, these wide loads, the pinstripes out on the East Coast, and uh, they're in first place in their division, aren't they? Yes, they are. This is going to be another good test for the Ramblers. They won head-to-head against the uh, the best team in the league in the Wax Bills in the last game. And uh, with, with the exception of a bad managerial t- call, they were right in that game. Probably could have come away with a win. But um, this, they're going to follow it up with another good test against the Wide Loads, who are an equally uh, good team. Not Maybe not as good as the Wax Bills, but pretty close. Pretty darn close. Yeah. Well, speaking of the wax bills, let's go over that uh, real quick. That last game, it was it it, it it was a close game, and it was there were two teams battling hard. Um, and we actually we actually no, they got things started. I'm sorry. First, it, it it battled out for a few innings. Nothing happened. The top of the fourth, then it was Ronaldo Valencia versus You're Fernando here. Beefy on the mound, and uh, Valencia gets this infield oh, single to McLean, runs it out, and um, gets gets the first run, and. Uh, it's the top of the fifth, then Vihan Musto. It's the left center field three run home run and make it four nothing. So that was that was really kind of what hurt us first, you know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was a it was a big hit, and uh, yeah, like you say, it really kind of put them on ahead. Yeah, and we and we didn't have like we we didn't we weren't prepared. We never seen these guys before, so we didn't know what to expect. They'll let us no excuse. <laughs> Um, right. B- bottom of the sixth, though, Hector Clements makes it interesting versus Pencil North. He gets a center field home run, and we've seen Clements home runs before. Uh, so, yeah, Hector Clements, like, at least stopped the bleeding and turned things around, gave us a little bit of hope there in the sixth. Yeah, yeah at the time, um, like I say, the the, uh, the the Wax Bills were out 4-1, to one, uh, 4 to nothing, and so we were just uh, looking to get out of a, a situation where we got shut out. And uh, Hector Clements stood up stepped up and he's been hitting pretty well lately i believe he hit a home run in the game before that as well yeah. so you know he puts it out of the park straight away center field i believe it was and uh yeah and so we're, we were on the board and it gave uh, all of a sudden the ramblers started to show some life yeah and it was you know they showed their fighting team and they actually brought this close so it's going to be a match as the bottom of the seventh and spray bellamy's turn he gets a center field home run, makes the game four to two, and uh, you know it was a spray Bellamy home run's always a welcome thing. And then it followed up in the bottom of that same inning. Hector Clements came to the plate versus Aiden Nolan, and Clements is going to get the sacrifice grounder, RBI, to second base, and makes it four to three within one run. And then the bottom of the eighth, Corbin Huerta, a right field home run, pulls this one off the foul pole. Dings it <laughs> and ties the game up with four apiece. And here we're saying these Ramblers we can, we can come back and take this thing. We can win it. We can win it. We're, we put ourselves in a pretty good situation. And then all of a sudden, the thinking went out the door. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's where, that's where the breakdown was. Of course, it had to be late game, unfortunately. Uh, at the top of the first, Hesto Lynn comes in against Twist Gutierrez, who um, it was, unfortunately he suffers from the surrounded trait. And, uh, and Lynn hits this left field RBI, puts him out in front by just one run, and that's not too bad, but still the bottom of the same side behind Musto again. It's one in the right field. It's another RBI and puts him out in front 6-4. It's a two-run lead. It's still not a foregone conclusion, though. We battled back and in the bottom of the ninth beat. Hector Clements versus Gustav Moody. And Clements pops this one out into center field. It's going, it's going, and it's caught just short of the wall at the track. Like I was saying during the game, another six feet, and it's a tie ball game. Yeah, yeah, again, uh, Hector Clements uh, doing a good job at the in the batter's box, and uh, just came up a biscuit short, as they say. Yeah, uh, yeah, so it was, I mean, it was close. It was, it was a tough loss, but it was a, it was a, it was a good battle against a good team, so... Uh, yeah, hopefully we're going to bring some more of that in today and uh, get back in that win column. That's going to bring us to game 19 of 38. At the end of this game, Pete, the season's halfway over. Yeah, yeah, It's uh, so far it's been an up-and-down season. I'd like to see the Ramblers maybe start to develop a winning tradition 
and especially as we move into that last uh, quarter of the season, start to start to establish a winning tradition. Yes, yes. Well, yeah. Thanks for being here with us, folks. This first half of the season. Hope the second half is as good. It's the eleven to seven wide loads in town. Power hitters, like we we picked up before the game. I think everybody in the regular lineup on this team has home runs. As far as the regular lineup goes, not the bench players. Everyone has at least two. So that's that's kind of interesting to see, and it looks you can see that slope sloping down. They're mostly a hitting team. Uh, they're going to go against our ten and eight extreme contact specialist Ramblers. A, a win here for us evens our our records. They're going to put Latoya Lumberg on the mound to start things off. Uh, that is, I pretty I assume their third string pitcher. She's known mostly for her accuracy, but she's got good junk and fair velocity as well. She's got a one on one record on the season, so she's looking to make that a winning record. She has a 3.86 ERA and a 1.55 whip. That's right. And back in her hub, Heck Liner, the third baseman, who's locked in with uh, good power, good ability to connect at home plate and uh, better than average speed. He's hitting 232 with six home runs. Darcy Hicks, the first baseman, who's tense but juiced. <laughs> and he's got very good power, good uh, ability to connect at home plate and about average speed on the base pass. Maybe a little bit better than average, but about average. He's hitting 247 with five home runs. And then Marsha Donga, the shortstop with the better than average power, good ability to connect, and less than average speed on a base base. He's hitting 254 with three home runs. So there's 14 home runs right there in those yes. three players, Tommy. Man. And we haven't even gotten out of the infield yet. <laughs> Marsha Donga, who looks suspiciously like Jesse Plemons. <laughs> but yeah. uh, but anyway, uh, and that's a compliment, Masha. So anyway, um, yeah, the, all those home runs, it's it's going to be tough. They did, Yeah, they didn't even mention Chimo Gaspar. Is that what you, did you just say that? Uh, I didn't say anything about oh, Chimo okay, Gaspar, I but like, I, I said uh, this is 14 home runs and we didn't even get out of the infield. Yeah, and we didn't even mention Chimo Gaspar, one of the, right. one of the better players in the game. We're going to be starting Jet Dapper on the mound, our, our right-hander, no, mostly for his velocity. He's got good velocity. Uh, he's got respectable junk and accuracy, a little, little lower than average. He's, uh, he's known as a rally stopper, which is a good thing, and he has a square jaw. <laughs> he's yes, got a, he does. He's got a 1-2 and two record on the season, a 10-2-3 area. He'd like to whittle down. He'd like to get that back to an even record, and he has a 2-1-4 whip. That's right, and you can catch a check with that jaw, pal. That's a, <laughs> that's a square jaw. Backing him up is Marcus Murillo, who's just the second baseman. who's just out of his mind right now. He is locked in. He is juiced. He's got uh, good power. He's got amazing ability to connect at home plate and uh, better than average speed on the base pass. He's hitting 371 with three home runs. The locked in Swindle Heath out there in left field with good power, uh, very good ability to connect and uh, better than average speed on the base pass. He's hitting 419 with six home runs. And then Corbin Hirta, the center fielder who bounced that one, he bounced the one off the foul pole. Wasn't that Hirta yeah, in the last yep, game? Yep. Yeah, he's got uh, good power, better than average ability to connect, better than average speed. He's hitting 431 with four home runs. Uh, so there's your Ramblers ready to take on these wide loads. <laughs> yes, let's get the line. Well, let's get our lineup first. It's going to look a little something like this. Starting things off, that man of the hour, the toast of the town, second baseman Marcus Murillo will bat first. He is locked in and juiced, as Pete said. So we could expect some good things from Marcus today to continue it going. Batting second number. He'll go, he'll go 0 for 4. Now. <laughs> we uh, we yeah, talked about it. Yeah, that's happened before. Uh, no McLean, our shortstop, is uh, batting second. And left field batting third, the locked-in Swindle Heath. Always good things from him. Corbin Huerta, the bell ringer, is going to be playing in center field today and batting cleanup. Now, it has Spray Bellamy at third base, but tense. So I don't know if we look to move him or uh, let's see. Who could... Uh, Enoch Hugh could come in and relieve him. Why is he doing so poor? I mean, he's he's been tense for the past couple of games. Do we let him yeah. play himself out of it, or do we tip, pull him out? Well, I guess we could because start Because he him. was, yeah, he was tense, and he hit, wound up hitting a home run. Yeah, all right, all right, we'll leave him in. Uh, fair enough, Kid Paul, then, is going to bat sixth and play right field. The designated hitter today, Johnny Contreras, the Waco Texan. Batting eighth, they got Marcus, or uh, Maximilian LeBlanca catching... But he's not 100%, so I I would recommend bringing him Ken Bernal. What do you think? It's up to you. Yep, we're going with Ken Bernal. The Dallas Texan, they, he's going to be uh, catching and batting eighth, and he's got a he's got a better arm, too, so that's a good thing. Hector Clemens is going to play first base at ninth, and he's also locked in, as we said. And on the mound, as we mentioned, 
Jet damper, the starter is going to throw the forefinger, the two finger, mix it up with the curveball and slider. Pete, you ready to give us the, the, uh, ready to give us Wide the thing load. from the stuff? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you I'm go. Ready. Let's do it. Do it. The wide load uh, batting order is going to be like this. Masha Dunga is going to lead off playing first base. Hack Liner at third base is locked in. He'll be batting second. Darcy Hicks that uh, batting third is the designated hitter, and he's tense but juiced. Hobbs in center field will be batting fourth. Strauss at uh, batting fifth playing catcher, and he's uh, just well. Acuro, the left fielder, is locked in batting sixth. Friedman, the second baseman, locked in batting seventh. Royds, the right fielder, is locked in batting eighth. And Gaspar, who's tense, will be playing shortstop. Hey, way to go. <laughs> Here we are at the corral, y'all. Maximiliano LeBlanc. Uh, Throwing gang signs. We have Masadanga, Hack Liner, and Darcy Hicks going to get a first look at Jet Dapper, who's going to take the bump with a 10.23 ERA. That's funny because LeBlanc isn't even starting. <laughs> yeah. Masha Dunga, the first baseman, is neutral and pitches an off-speed hitter with a noodle arm, hitting 254 with three home runs and nine RBIs. So the first pitch from Jet Dapper, inside ball one, Jet Dapper known as a rally stopper. Allen's in it for a called strike. One ball, one strike. Jet Dapper with that rally stopper means he gets a, an advantage on his attributes <laughs> when there are uh, runners, two runners on. One out line drive to center field uh, for the out. Heck, liner, the third baseman is locked in and fit. He's a big hack, Tommy. Hitting 232 with six home runs, 14 RBIs. The first pitch is in there for called strike. Strike one plus 10 power, minus 20 contact went on uh, 2-0, 3-0, or a 3-1 pay, uh, count. That one's inside. One ball, one strike now to hack liner. Jet Dapper throwing his sixth pitch, swing and a miss, strike two. And now a Dapper out in front of Hackliner. There's oh. a shot into left center field. The center fielder Corbin here at this back. He's under it and he makes the catch for the second out. Two up, two down. Hirta showing some speed out there. Was able to cover a lot of ground and get the left center field to make the catch. Darcy Hicks, the designated hitter, is tense but juiced. He favors the inside pitch. Now that's one was scary. That one's outside. Hicks is hitting 247 with five home runs and nine RBI. That Ooh. one's shot. That's going to be foul into the stands along the right field line. So one ball, one strike, two outs to Darcy Hicks, the designated hitter. There's a shot. That's gone. He that's missed, just he out missed of there. The spot. He missed the throw. That is into the uh, gal uh, the alley there at uh, between in left center field. He traveled 471 feet. That's his sixth home run and 10th RBI of the season. The wide load's taking early lead. One to nothing. In steps Wade Hobbs, the center fielder. He's neutral and fit. He's a first pitch slayer and a choker. He's hit 233 with four home runs, nine RBIs. Something tells plus me. Plus 10 power and plus 15 contact on his 0-0 count. Something tells me that Dapper wanted to put that last one a little inside and it didn't go. I don't know what tells me that, but something tells me. <laughs> something tells you that. No balls, one strike. That one that caught the outside corner. That one's low ball one. One ball, one strike, two outs. The choker minus 10 to all skills. There's a shot that's going to get into left field. Oh, and Swindle Heath is going to have to chase it a little bit. Tried to pay it off the wall, but he misjudged the rebound. So a double, a two out double. Things are starting to happen here. Harmony Strauss is going to step in the catcher. She's neutral and well. She's a fastball hitter and a first pitch slayer. She's hitting 280 with five home runs, 14 RBIs. Oh, first pitch, on. and that's gone. That's out of here. That's another home run. That's into the same area as the last home run, left center field. And uh, very quickly, though, that would travel 452 feet. That's her sixth home run and uh, 16th RBI of the season. And the wide loads are up three to nothing in the first inning. Ooh. Fungo Akuro, the left fielder, is locked in and fit. He's a little hack. Hit 333 with four home runs, nine RBIs. The question Jet is. Jet Dapper is tense. The question <laughs> is, where is his home run going to go? <laughs> oh. And that's going to get through. Marcus Murillo <laughs> will lay out, pick it up, make the throw to first, and finally. And the side, but we're going to head into the bottom of the first wide loads. Three ramblers, nothing. Marcus Murillo, no McLean and Swindle. He's going to fi 
Face off against Latoya Lumberg, who's got a 3.86 ERA. Oh. Yeah, not a very good first inning. Again, Chip Dapper uh, needs a bus ticket. Marcus Murillo, the <laughs> second baseman, is locked in and juiced, hitting 371 with three home runs, 12 RBI. He could have just asked. <laughs> uh, first pitch. Oh. oh, foul ball first baseline. I think he hurt somebody with that one. Or he tried. That one goes up in the center field, and that's going to be a clean single way to start things off. Marcus, let's get right back in this, Ramblers. Yes, sir. Marcus Murillo's mojo went up. So one on with no outs. In steps No McLean, the shortstop. He's a, a neutral and fit low pitch hitter. He's hitting 455 with five home runs and 18 RBIs. First pitch gets to the outside corner for called strike. Strike one. That one's inside ball one. One ball, one strike. That one's lifted foul out of play over the dugout on the first base side. So one ball, two strikes to McLean. There's a shot. That's going to be foul just into the stands along the left field line. One ball, two strikes still. That one's a low ball, two. That'll even the count up. Two balls, two strikes, no outs. That's a fly ball to Gaspar. He'll make the catch. Swindle, uh, Marcus Murillo got back to first. So one out and a one on with one out in step Swindle Heath. All right, Swindle. <clears throat> He's hitting some 419, 419 on the season. Yep. Takes the first pitch inside ball. Six home runs, 12 RBIs. Fast runner, first base. Catcher's got a good arm, though. That one's inside. Two quick balls. He's a big hack, likes the pitches outside. He's been getting them inside. There's the first strike, no safety's off. Pressure low here in the bottom of the first. Oh, oh. Somehow that makes a strike. It would look a little inside of me. Two apiece now. That one right down past the mound into center field, and the answer is the proper way. And we're going to get another runner on Pete with just one out. Let's get that three run home run, tie this up. Yes, sir. And this is the man who can do it Corbin Yurta, the center fielder. He's neutral and fit, hitting 431 with four home runs and 10 RBIs. Mm -hmm. Two on with one out. Big pitch here. Oh. That's fouled off into the stands along the first baseline. No balls, one strike. That one's fouled off. And here to now in the hole, no balls, two strikes. There's a roller that'll get up into center field. It's kind of shallow, so there's, they're only going to get one. So base is loaded now, and then steps Spray Bellamy. Yeah. Well, it was he didn't get the power hit on that one, but he got the single, Pete. Now Spray's up hitting 290 on the season. Seven home runs, 13 RBIs, tense. We'll see what happens with Spray. He reaches oh, out. Oh, no, no, no. It's the rolling butt, but there's nowhere else for anybody to go, and they get the double play. Double How play. About that? you got to be kidding me. No, I'm serious. <laughs> the Ramblers uh, suck. We're going into the top of the second. It's three to nothing <laughs> wide load. Janus Friedman, Ella Royds, and Chimo Gaspar are going to face Jet Dapper who threw 15 pitches in the first thing. I can't believe God, this team is slow. Janus <laughs> Friedman is locked in and fit. Oh, they, you're doing that. I'm pitching. That's okay. Starting to think maybe we should have gone with uh, Enoch you. <laughs> anyway, first pitch high and inside. This is ball one. Good luck with the, with the tense Jet Dapper here, Pete. One no the count. All right, so that safety's off now. That slider makes out. So I can even one apiece now. Three nothing wide, those top of the second. Down on the inside corner, strike one. We always got to be careful about the long ball with this team, man. These guys are killers. And the jo Giannis Friedman, the Butterfingers, man, is locked in. Oh, he checks it that one. Almost got him to chase it now. 26 got an itch on the butt. Scratch, wind up. Good throw this one. He's got 20 Ks, looking for 21. Oh, that misses mm. high and inside. Now we got a full count, three and two. What's going to happen? I'll tell you in just a second. Here, Bernal makes the signal to throw, and it's a home run. That's how he wow. answers. Yeah, these guys really can dig it, man. Wow, about eight rows. Yeah, and Ed Dapper's not very good. <laughs> no, no, he's not answering the call yet. 397 feet. That's Friedman's third home run and 14th RBI of the season. They're just trying to see who can win the home run race, this team. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, they got $100 on who can hit it the farthest. <laughs> Ella White's 241, three home wow. runs, 12 RBIs. It's a 4 0 wide loads game early on. Here comes the first pitch to Royds. Checks it to strike, only the count. Jet Dapper not having his best game thus far, but it's early. You never know. 23rd pitch by Dapper. A slider on the outside corner, no swing, strike 202. Can he get something past one of these guys? Well, it goes high and inside. I feel it's going to fade deep because you just never know. Want to do the count to Ella Royds, right fielder for New York Wide Loads. Power team gets her on the outside corner. All right, way to go, Jet. <laughs> I don't know if you want to be like showboat. 
But uh, good for you. All right, Chimo Gaspar, that's the guy I was talking about. 246, six home runs, nine RBIs. I'll be surprised if Chimo leaves here without seven home runs. Although he's tense recently, shortstop for the New York wide loads. Pounds that foul ball way up the top. Hands out a souvenir in an unusual place on the third base line. High up. There's one on the ground. Hector Clemens going to run up barehanded and run over the bag himself. Get that second up. He's got one more to go. Yes, sir. And it's Masha Donga's turn. The tense uh, first base woman. 0 for 1 in the day. Likes the off-speed pitch. So she's not going to get it. Jet Dapper's going to throw her heat. Misses outside corner. One other count to her. Hard foul back up the net up here by us. Masha Donga got two quick hits. Masha can go go a yard, but she's good contact hitter. Reaches down, fouls that one off. He's got her in a hole, though. Spits something out. One and two the count. Still tense, Jet Dapper, but looking to get... Oh, she checks on that pitch in the dirt. Good trap by Ken Bernal. Now we're at 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Machine gun count. Fouls that back up. Souvenir behind home plate. Still same count. Here at the top of the second. Reaches out, tags that outside pitch. First baseline foul ball. Still locked up at two. Apiece. There he gets her on the inside corner. She doesn't She doesn't swing. Way to get out of it, Jet. Yes, sir, but it, uh, Dapper gives up another run. It's four to nothing as we head into the bottom of the second. Kid Paul, John Contreras, and Kim Bernal get a first look at Latoya Lumber, who threw 17 pitches and gave up three hits. Kid Paul, the right fielder, is neutral and fit. He's an RBI hero who's injury prone. He's hitting 368 with five home runs, 12 RBIs. First pitch to Paul over the inside corner for a call. Strike, strike one. There's a shot that's going to get into the corner left of left field. is going to come up throwing. Kid Paul rounded first but he's going to stay at first base. So one on with no outs in steps. Johnny Contreras, the designated hitter. All right, Johnny, Johnny quite Contreras hitting 207 on the season. One home run. One RBI. There comes the pitch out to corner. Early swing. Misses. Oh, won the count here. It's just a four run game. That one's outside corner. Strike two. She's got Johnny in a hole. And she gets him on three pitches. Never swung. Well, wow. he didn't swing on the last one. Those two pitches didn't look anywhere close. Ken Bernal, the catcher, was neutral and fitting durable, hitting 364. No home runs, no RBIs. One on with one out. And Bernal, the catcher, in the batter's box. First pitch to Bernal is in there for called strike. Strike one. one ba no balls, one strike. There's a shot into Go. right center oh. field. It's going to be off the wall. Oh, he's going to get tagged and, down. Uh, no. He's going to pull in the second base with a double. So runners at second and third with one out in steps. Hector Clements, the first baseman. All right. Well, it's important we convert here, Hector. Hector, 371, three home runs, 10 RBIs. Looking for 11. He's locked in. Oh, he no. Pops in. That's okay. That's okay. We got one Sack out. Sacrifice fly. Sack fly in left field. Here goes the batter. Tags up. And he just barely crosses the bag. Makes it 4-1, Pete. At least we're on now. Yeah, the seal has been broken. Runner at second base with two outs. Insteps Marcus Murillo, the second baseman. He's on fire and juiced. One for one with a single. Come on, Marcus. Let's do this. The first pitch is outside. Ball one. One ball, no strikes. Murillo just turning it on here in the uh, early, in the mid going here. That's uh, low ball two. No. There's a roller to the first baseman, Masha Danga. She's going to step on first base. And just like that, Marcus Murillo is pissed off. He's going to run the bases anyway. So we're going to head into the top of the third. Wide loads, four runs on four hits. The Ramblers, one run on five hits. Heckliner, 0 for 1. Darcy Hicks, 1 for 1 with a home run. Wade Hobbs, 1 for 1 with a double. Jet Dapper at 34 pitches with two strikeouts. <laughs> Heckliner, the third baseman, is locked in and fit. He's a big hack. He's 0 for 1 today. That's a mouthful. Oh, my gosh. It goes so fast. It they does. got to slow it down a little bit. Although all the people who just play single player, um, they, they're like... Why is this taking so long? Darcy Hicks, the designated hitter, is neutral and choose the line drive to swindle, uh, to spray Bellamy at third base. So one out. Hicks, the designated hitter, is in the box. He's going to smash that into center field, and Corbin Hirsch is going to make the catch for the second out. Two up, two down, in steps Wade Hobbs, the center fielder. He's neutral and fit. He's one for one with a double today. Nobody on, two outs, Wade Hobbs. The center fielder facing off against Jet Dapper. He cracks that ball, but that's uh, he got out 
a little early on it and pulled it into the stands along the first baseline. So strike one, that's in it for called second strike. No balls, two strikes. Dapper seems like he might be settling down. Swing and a miss, strike three, and down goes Wade Hobbs. So a double and a strikeout. Uh, we're going to head into the bottom of the third. It's 4-1 wide loads. No McLean, 0 for 1. Swindle Heath, 1 for 1. And Corbin Yurta, 1 for 1. Latoya Lumber got 28 pitches with a strikeout, giving up five hits. Her ERA is at a 3.92. No McLean is shortstop, neutral, and fit. 0 for 1. Come on, no, let's get her going here. Uh, most importantly, Dapper threw five pitches in that last inning. That was a good good pace. First pitch to no is low. <laughs> Misses 1 and 0 the count. No, low. There he reaches down and gets that low pitch, but knocks it into center field, Pete. And the Ramblers keep this ball rolling. They're getting the offense. They're getting these hits. They just got to make sure they keep converting. Yes, sir. And they got to remember, let her throw some pitches, too. It's it's hard, but yeah. Swindle Heath, the left fielder's locked in and fit. He's one for one with a single. So no McLean at first base does not have a lot of speed. So he's not a big steal threat. First pitch to Swindle Heath is over the inside corner for called strike. Strike one. Allen's way outside, ball one. One ball, one strike now to Swindle Heath. That's down. Allen's low as well, ball two, and Latoya Lumber throwing her 34th. That's, That's in it for a called strike. Count even up now, two balls, two strikes. Nope, no. Allen bounced, ball three, full count to Swindle Heath. Big pitch here. Oh! That's in it for a call, third strike, and down goes Swindle Heath. So, one on with two outs. Corbin here to the center fielder. He's one for one with a single. Well, he made her pitch, but uh, I thought no. that first pitch was a little high. First pitch, it's oh, a pop-up no. in the center field. That's going to be the second out. Waving that off is the center fielder, Wade Hobbs, two down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dang, have it. Two outs in steps. Spray Bellamy, the third baseman. He's tense but fit. He's 0 for 1 today. So, no McLean at first base with two outs now. Spray Bellamy favors the outside pitch. That one's inside. Strike one. Ball high. In, that one's high ball one. One ball, one strike down to Bellamy, the Rambler third baseman. That one's fouled off into the backstop. So one ball, two strikes. Ball. That's, inside. That's inside ball two. Two and two now to spray Bellamy. That's ripped foul along the third baseline. He'll get another pitch. Two and two. Oh, man. That catches the corner for called third strike, and down goes spray Bellamy. So we're going to head into the top of the fourth. It's wide loads four, Ramblers one. Harmony Strauss, one for one with a home run. Fungo Akira, 0 oh for one. And Janus Friedman, one for one with a home run. Jet Dapper at 39 pitches with three strikeouts, giving up four hits. His ERA is at a 10.44. Harmony Strauss, the catcher, is in the batter's box. One for one with a home run, two RBIs. Yeah, we got we got to make those conversions. We get the runners on them, we strand them. The uh, Meanwhile, the... These wide loads are just going for the wall. She gets a single right up the center field on that first pitch. And uh, she's happy with herself. That's just one. That's okay. And now it's Fungo Akiro for one in the day. The locked in left fielder. He's got a very slow runner at first base and a good arm behind the plate. So he's probably not going to run. Hoping for that double play ball on the ground. We'll see what Jet Dapper throws him here. First pitch, swing and a miss. Strike one. He wanted a home run. <laughs> Great contact there. Not a ton of power. They're not too worried about. Oh, that's right ah. past his ear, though, in the center field. That's two quick singles on, for the wide loads and no outs. Come on, Jet. Come on, man. We got to get this thing. We got to stop this. The triple play now. Get a grounder to third. Giannis Friedman, one for one on the home run. And an RBI. Outfield going to fade deep just in case. And field hoping for that play at third. Ump's got a scratch. Oh, instead it goes. goes over third, and it's a three-run box. Come wow, on, man. Come on. Look at that. You got three with two home runs today, right? That's, uh, yeah. That one went 425. It's his fourth home run of the season, second of the day, and his 17th RBI. Wow, it's Giannis Friedman Day. You might as well just fast forward to the end, folks. Find out how <laughs> <laughs> this is what's going to be most of the day. Ella Roy, yeah, we we fared better against the Montreal Wax Bills. Ella Roy's over one. Here she gets a home run of her own. Look at that sucker go! She's and he's a freaking pitching machine. This guy, he's just a freaking yeah, pitching machine. It's a home run derby, and it was on two pitches, two straight pitches. There wasn't even a strike in the middle. That went 470 feet, 13th RBI of the season, and this is officially a blowout. I don't know what she was saying, but uh, it's inappropriate. I mean, do we pull him? What do you mean? I think, yeah, yeah. right? 
I mean, he there's there's yeah, he's rattled, he's rattled. He's crap. He's done. Yeah, yeah. freaking. Yeah, we he should be on a. We should put him on a bus. He's gotta, just. He's not. There's no point to him. We got a starter slash reliever that's that's locked in. I forget who it was. It's more reliable, but he's like, he's gassed. I mean, he's, oh, he he's is? less okay, than yeah. half stamina. Yeah, go, go with, then you probably should go with Bull. Leave the Bull if he's yeah. One of the we, only two other pitchers we have. Yeah, well, the, the starter slash reliever lets him go a little further. He's got more stamina. He's not fully rested, but he can throw for a while. He's get us to late game. We can bring in a reliever. Leland Bull is uh, no mostly for his velocity. Obviously, he's got good junk and fair accuracy. He's got 3 0 ERA, a 117 whip, 19 Ks. Uh, he's got elite four figure and mixes it up with cut figure and the curveball. And he's got his work cut out for him here. He's got all these these power hitters off the board uh, who are just hitting home. They're just trading home runs. Starts off slider outside, or no, curveball outside corner. Oh, one the count, check swing by Chimo Gaspar. Eight to one wide loads here. At the top of the fourth, we're hoping to get out of this in under a dozen. That one misses ball, one apiece. Right in there, fouled back. Souvenir behind home plate. One and two fans cheering on Leland Bull. He's a different man. Swing and a miss outside corner. He starts off on a good note, Pete, with a strikeout. Striking on Chimo Gaspar, of all people. And now it's Mashing Dog 0 for 2. Off speed hitter. Tense. And now she's facing Leland Bull, who's looking strong. Fans cheer. And here he's going to throw his fifth pitch. It's a signal from Ken Bernal. Nods. Number 31 winds up. Tosses. Oh, it's a bullet. Marcus Murillo diving to his right, throwing to his left, and gets the out. Wait, 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 Marcus, and he's happy with himself, and he should be. Yep. Hackman, 0 for 2, but a huge power hitter and locked in. So the outfield's going to go all the way back and just rest their backs against the wall. <laughs> Hackman takes that pitch low and away, misses ball one. One will count. Beautiful afternoon here in Dallas. Too bad it's such a one sided affair. That one's in there inside corner, strike one. One apiece now. But you know that the wow, hard foul ball, third baseline souvenir, one and two. The Ramblers have come back before. You never know, Pete. Wind up throw. Hard foul up here near the booth. Souvenir. Lucky fan. Lucky, lucky. One and two the count. Inside corner. Another foul ball up here. There's a lot of fans back in this position getting souvenirs that don't usually get them. Foul ball, first base line. It's, it's free ball day here. What's this person have on their face back there? I'm looking at a fan of the seats. I don't know. It's like a mask. That one's inside corner. Two, two, two. Reaches out, fouls that back off the fence. And we are stuck here. Oh, inside corner misses. Now it's three and two full count. He's going to throw his 15th pitch. He's got to get out of this inning pretty soon. Fouled back off the net. Hack liner's been at the plate here for about 15 minutes. <laughs> There's a pop up into shallow center field. No McLean's running back. Kid Paul running up. No McLean's going to grab that in shallow center for the third out. Yeah, but they put four more on the board. What do you think of that, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to head into the bottom of the fourth. It's 8-1 wide loads. Kid Paul, 1-for-1. One one. John Contreras, 0-for-1 with a strikeout. Kim Bernal, 1-for-1 one one with a double. Kid Paul, the right fielder, is neutral. And Fiddy's not a hero and injury prone. He's 1-for-1 one one with a single. Yeah, unfortunately, Jet Dapper looked shaky from the start. So that wasn't the first. First, strike, first one's there for a strike. 0-1 the count. Second one's there for a strike. 0-2. He's going to try and get him on three pitches. She, Alvarez. He reaches out, hits that on the ground. Friedman at second, one pump throw the first one up and down. John Contreras is up the designated hitter. He's tense, but fit, known as a base rounder. He's 0 for 1 today. One out, oh. nobody on. Swing and a miss, strike one. That was right there. There's a roller to the first <laughs> baseman, and Donga will take it herself for the second out. Two up, two down. And then steps Kim Bernal. Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Ken Bernal, one for one with a double. Eight to one. Boy, these Ramblers got to get some offense going. Early swing foul off in the third base dugout. Well, one second one. That's oh, a liner, but it's, it's foul. Third base line. Oh, two now. Ken's in a hole. Oh, oh that come made the on. inside corner. He didn't like the call, but what a horrible oh. inning that was. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're going into the top of the fifth. It's uh, wide loads eight, Ramblers one, Darcy Hicks one for two with a home run, Wade Hobbs one for two with a double and a strikeout. How many strikes? Two for two with a home run. Leland Bullet 16 pitches. Darcy Hicks, the designated hitters, 
Tense but juiced. One for two with a home run and an RBI. How can you be tense, man? You hit a home run. <laughs> right. Eight to one, top of the fifth. Here's inside ball one. One ball, no strikes. Leland Bull throwing his 18th pitch here in a losing effort. There's a shot. That's going to be foul, which is good, because if it was yeah. in the field of play, it was probably out of the game. <laughs> That's an effort called strike catches the outside corner. So now Darcy Hicks finds himself behind the count. One and two. There's a roller, and that's going to get past <coughs> the diving John Contr uh, Hector Contreras over at uh, first base. <laughs> Whatever. Wade Hobbs, a uh, single for the by the So one on with no out. Wade Hobbs steps in. One for two with a double today. Hmm. He's a first pitch slayer and a choker. There's a lot of speed over at first base. Mm -hmm. One on, no outs, top of the fifth. And a swing and a miss, strike two. And now Wade Hobbs is in the hole. No balls, two strikes, no outs. Oh, oh just misses the inside corner for a ball, ball one. Throw over to first, and it's back. So one ball, two strikes, one on with no outs in the top of the fifth. Swing and a miss, strike three, down goes Wade Hobbs. So... One out and in steps Harmony Strauss. She's locked in and well. She's two for two with a home run, a single, and two RBIs. She's a fastball hitter and a first pitch slayer. Throw over to first, and the runner is back. So one on with one out. Strauss in the box. That one's in the dirt. Ball one. One ball, no strikes to Harmony Strauss. That's in there for a called strike. That'll leave in the count at one and one. Leland Bull steps off the rubber, but that'll count as a disengagement. So one ball, one strike, one out. That catches the outside corner for a call, second strike. And now Hart, uh, Strauss is behind the count. One and two. Big pitch here by Leland Bull. Oh, oh, and it's going to roll in it, man. No. Yep. A ground ball that got past the first baseman into right field. So runners at first and second with one out in steps fungo akuro he's locked in and fit one for two with a single fungo akuro is known to be a little hack so with runners at first and second with one out first pitch is in there for a call strike strike one akuro with excellent connection at home plate that's in there for a call second strike and now akuro is in the hole no balls two strikes one out <sighs> Allen's a low ball one. One ball, two strikes. Bull thrown his 32nd pitch. Allen's ripped foul. He'll get another pitch. One and two. Allen's popped up into foul territory. Is it going to be? It's going to drift. Yeah. And he makes oh. oh, it must have bounced off the wall. Yeah. One ball, two strikes, one out. It looked like maybe Swindle Heath would make that catch, but it must have bounced, touched the wall. So. Two balls, two strikes, one out. That one's popped up behind home plate. That's going to get into foul territory as well. Two balls, two strikes, one out. <laughs> Fungo Akuro doing, you know, just making bull throw pitches. Jeez, yeah. Which is what they did at the end of the last <laughs> inning. They just stand there, and he throws 20 pitches to one yeah. batter. Uh, then, they, then they hit one. one. Yeah, after yeah, and then and that's going to get into left field for a clean single. So base is loaded now. And Leland Bull, who's pitched about an inning and two-thirds, is at like almost 40 pitches at this point. Janus Friedman, the second baseman, locked in and fit. It's two for two. Bases are uh -huh. loaded for Leland Bull, who's thrown his 38th pitch. And you can't even pitch around him. That's in there for called strike. Strike one. No, there's no, no getting around him. Swing and a miss, strike two. Friedman now in the hole. No balls, two strikes. Only one out so far. Uh -huh. Allen's outside, ball one. Friedman almost went for it, but he was able to hold up. Friedman known as the Butterfingers. <laughs> Allen's outside, ball two. Two balls and two strikes now. Allen shot into left field. That's going to be foul off the wall. He'll get another pitch. Two balls, two strikes, one out. <sighs> Oh, it's inside ball three. Full count now to Janus oh. Friedman, the second baseman. Big pitch. That's ripped foul into the stands. He'll get another pitch. Leland Bull up at 44, make it 45. 
And there's yep. a shot that's going to get into the uh, outfield. Oh, he's going to right it. Field. He wasn't sure if he got it or not. So another run will score, make it 9-1. to one. What, uh, base is still loaded with only one out, <laughs> and in step Alaroids. I am not paying attention. I am lost in space. <laughs> he is stimulated. First pitch is a broken bat. Foul ball. Uh, strike one. Alaroids, the right fielder. That's a shot. That's going to get into. Oh, oh misjudged it. That's going to score everybody. It's going to be a bases clearing triple, more likely. Oh, <laughs> like, boy. Yeah. He misjudged it. Couldn't figure out where it was. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Rolls back to the wall, and it's a double. So they score, pick up two more runs. It's 11 to 1. Is there a slaughter rule? Oh, my that gosh. Stop playing. <laughs> yeah. That's in there for a called strike. Strike one. Leland Bull now, his accuracy is in the tank. He's tense, but fit. How do they anticipate well, all these? Ball every fastball. One, ball, one strike, one out. Every fastball I throw, they've, they've anticipated it. Well, it's because it's his trait, though. You know, he's got an elite four-seam fastball, so they figure he's probably going to throw that pretty often. Yeah. Bull at 50. There's a strikeout for the second out. No balls. Oh, uh, two outs. Runners at second, third. Masha Danga. She's 0 for 3 today. She's tense but fit. She's an off-speed hitter. Masha Danga, tense but fit. There's a shot right to No McLean at shortstop. A line drive. So we're going to head into the bottom of the fifth. It's wide loads 11. Ramblers 1. <laughs> Hector Clements is first at bat. Marcus Murillo 1 for 2. And No McLean 1 for 2. Latoya Lumberg at 51 pitches with 4 strikeouts. Giving up 6 hits. Her ER is at 3.57. Hector Clements, the first baseman, is locked in and fit. He's got magic hands. He's hitting 371 with three home runs, 11 RBI. 11 to 1 in the bottom of the fifth, Tommy. <laughs> low ball one. Hmm. That's over the outside corner for called strike. Strike one. Allen's ripped foul. Strike two. One ball is two strikes now to Hector Clements. There's a roller to the shortstop, and she'll pick it up, make the throw to first for the first out. One up, one down. In steps Marcus Murillo. All right, Marcus, one guy who could do it. He's on fire and juice now. One for two. Get a home run, Marcus. Get another. Oh, high and inside misses ball one. One of the count. Yeah, it's a 10-run game. These guys are just crushing us today. That one's a strike. One apiece now. Low and a ball two. Get her throwing those counts. We want to get her out of the game. If we get one victory, it's getting her out of the game. It's a liner right to dog at <laughs> first, though. Two outs. In steps Noel McLean, the shortstop. He's neutral and fit. One for two with a single. <laughs> No favors the low pitch. Two outs, nobody on in the bottom of the fifth. There's yeah. a shot. No McLean just went Make yard. Pay, man. 11 to 2. There you go. Straight away center field for No McLean. That one traveled 455 feet. It's his sixth home run and 19th RBI of the season, and it's 11 to 2. And No McLean taking a curtain call, even though they suck. <laughs> <laughs> Losing 11 to 2, pal. Just yeah, act like you've been there before. <laughs> Swiddle Heath's one for two. Uh, it's now just a. Hey, Swiddle Heath getting one of his. It's going deep and it is out of here. Hey, back to back pitches. Way to go, Ramblers. Let's keep this thing going. We just get a single home run every time. <laughs> We're 35 feet. Seventh home run. Hey, he's getting up there, Pete. Now, 13th RBI of the season. Way to go. Yeah. And you could say what you want to about the Ramblers, but they don't give up. Corbin here to the center fielder's neutral and finish one for two with a single. Score is now 11 to three. Ramblers back in this thing, Tommy. There's oh, yeah. a smash. That's going to be foul huh. out of play. Strike one. Oh, how's he that? ripped foul. Strike two. Now he's in the hole. No balls, two strikes. That one's popped up. <laughs> He popped up behind home plate. And Corbin here does running for second. Oh, and the catcher makes the catch for the third out. We're going to head into the top of the sixth. Wide loads, 11 runs on 13 hits. The Ramblers, three runs on eight. Hack liner, 0 for 3. Darcy Hicks, 2 for 3 with a home run. Wade Hobbs, 1 for 3 with a double and two strikeouts. Leland Bullet, 52 pitches with three strikeouts. Hack liner, oh. Yeah, Hack liner, 0 for 3 on the day. Big heavy. Hack's pretty darn upset with everybody else on his team having a banner day. Hack's like, come on, I want a home run. The Bulls 53rd pitch to start it off. It's two. Oh, and you can't you can't uh, expect 
Murillo to do everything. He dives to his right, but just misses that liner out in first base. Here we go again, Pete. Yep. Darcy Hicks up now. Two for three, the home run single and RBI. Juiced outfield fading back. Got a fast dish runner at first base. Darcy Hicks. Swings in the first one. Oh no, it's into a okay, it's into a gap in right center field. Kid Paul's gonna make that grab for the first. I said, oh no, because it was in the gap between, you know, right and center. Yeah. You never knew. And with this with this crew, you never, you know, you don't think someone's gonna get there. Wade Hobbs one for three with a double. We got one out here in the top of the six, 11 3. It's an eight run game. We got a runner at first and double play. Sure, it would be nice. Hard foul, first baseline. Oh, one of the count. Get grounder and a double. Anticip and always anticipates a mid count up and away. <laughs> this is ball, one apiece now. Leland Bull's struggling. He's losing velocity and accuracy. That one low. Got a little bit of junk, though. The ERA's at a 4 4 now. Inside corner strike two. Evens it up to a piece. Going to throw his 59th pitch. Her ball, and it's a home run hit, but it's a little right. Oh, Wade Hobbs back in the corner there. We, we, we do. Two piece now. A 60th pitch. Oh, swinging him a strike three. Way to get a K. Well, you went from getting almost a home run to a strikeout. And now it's Harmony Strauss. Three for three of the home run. Two singles, two RBIs. Come on. Before you leave the game, Peter. He's just got to get out of this inning. We'll bring in some more relief. She's a first pitch slayer. She doesn't go for that first pitch. So it's a breaker down low. Strike one. Oh, look out. Safety off now. Still got that runner at first base. 62nd pitch. Anticipates the mid count inside. Always. <laughs> but it misses. Ball one. As usual. <laughs> What a piece now to Harmony Strauss. Oh, did she go in yard another time? Yes, it's another home run. Wow, Strauss went out. Oh, almost out of the park. She would set in the green. It's a multiple run bagger, two run home run. That one went 467 feet. It's her seventh home run and 18th RBI of the season. This is the worst game we've played all year, Pete. Yep. Yeah, this is this this horrible. This sucks. <laughs> it's, this isn't even fun to play, folks. <laughs> Akira, two for three with two singles. Wow, they we're really. Gonna just, we're going to just go through our pitching staff. It's all. Dana, it's all yeah. Dana Uppers, the cross oh, up easy jump thrower, uh, is coming in. She's got, uh, she's known mostly for accuracy. She's got some junk and not much velocity. She's got a 92 area, 205 whip and 5 Ks. Uh, and she's got, she's well rested. Throws a four finger, mix it up with curveball and change up. Dana Uppers. Comes out after seeing a couple bodies laying on the road there. <laughs> a little nervous thrown to this team, man. This is a huge home run day. Fouls that off first baseline, third baseline souvenir. Oh, Only one. That one misses inside. We're even out one piece. Top of six, 13 to three. It's a 10 run game. Pop set up behind the plate, but that's going to be a souvenir into the netting. One and two the count now. He's a little hack. Oh, that breaker almost makes it back inside, but misses out. On the inside corner route, two, two, two. Let's see, sure he already's falling down a little bit here. Watch your sixth K. Instead, no McLean jumps, but that's not going to be there in time. It drops in front of Swindle Heath in the left field, and they throw it in. It's a single with two outs. We just need the one more left. And uh, now it's Giannis Friedman, three for three, two home runs, a single, five RBIs, looking for a third home run. And she threw. Oh, she goes under his chin, brushes him back. She's a badass. Now she goes low and away. It's popped up in the left field. Swindle Heath's waving it off. He's going to make that grab in this side, Pete. Way to go, Swindle. Way to go, Dana. Yep. Yep. But they put two more on the board. So as we head into the bottom of the sixth, it's wide loads 13, the Ramblers 3. Spray Bellamy 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Kid Paul 1 for 2, and John Contreras 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Latoya Lumberg got 64 pitches and four strikeouts, giving up three hits. Is that what that said? Spray Bellamy, the third baseman, is tense, but fit. He's 0 for 2 today. Latoya Lumberg is going to take a seat. They're going to bring in the uh, B rank starting relief pitcher, Elise Bobbert. Bobbert with. Uh, Better than average velocity, less than average junk, and good accuracy. She's locked in and fit. She's got a zero ERA, Tommy. <laughs> the .39 whip and 5K. She's uh, half rested. Um, it's all now you look at it. She's either half rested <laughs> or half tired, whichever way you want to go. Uh, she throws a four-seam fastball, a slider, and a changeup. And uh, 
Spray Bellamy is going to take a seat because I'm tired of looking at his ugly face. Yeah, we should have we should have started I guess with Enoch. Well, you could you could pinch anybody. Oh, we bring in Enoch already. Okay, so Enoch's going to come in here. A uh, fair contact hitter, a good contact against right-handers. He's a little hack. He's hitting 333 on the season. No home runs, one RBI. He's up to bat now in the game. He's facing this lady. I didn't see. Oh, and he gets a home run on his first pitch. Way to go, Enoch. Oh, no. Caught at the track and right field for the first down. Oh, close, though. Yes, sir. One up, one down. In steps Kid Paul, the right fielder. He's neutral and fit. I didn't see what he was doing. First pitch to Kid Paul's in there for a called strike. Strike one. There's a shot up the middle on the ground. That'll be a clean single in the center field. Hobbs will throw it into Friedman. So one on with one out and in steps. John Contreras. John Ott for two on the 194 on the season. One home run, one RBI. Johnny plays. John Con Contreras. He's he, old. Oh, he's so. a DH. Yeah, yeah. Right. He's, yeah. You could DH anybody. Who else do we got? It's He's tense. also tense. Yeah. yeah. Anyone that can hit. They can DH. They don't have to play no position. But nobody's out of position at DH. We only have two players left. Repo Reeves and Maximiliano LeBlanc. Uh, bring in Reeves. The repo yeah, because LeBlanc's not 100% yeah. physically... Oh. Rico Reeves going to come in uh, normally first base, and he's he's uh, no mostly first contact. He's got good power, uh, not too fast. He's got a four four eight average on the season, with just one home runs and nineteen and nine RBIs. So Repo Reeves, Reeves looking to add to some offense here, get us closer to where they are. First one's there for a strike, oh on the count. At least Bobbert throwing well so far. And when this is for a ball, she's going to throw a six pitch right here. Outside oh, corner, it's on the ground. A second Friedman for one, back to first for two, and they close out the side with the double play. Yep. We're going to go into the top of the seventh. It's wide loads 13, Ramblers 3. Ella Royds 2 for 3 with a home run, a double, and a strikeout. Chimo Gaspar 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. Masha Dango 0 for 4 with a strikeout. Any Yepers through seven pitches, gave up one hit. Ella Royds, the right fielder, is locked in, and Fitchy's 2 for 3 with a home run, a double, and three RBIs. Now at third base, Enoch Hugh. <laughs> First pitch. Wow. That's rocketed into, oh, and they gave me the wrong person again. The closest person to the ball was the center fielder, not the left fielder. Yeah. Dummy. <laughs> yeah. So I'm holding my joysticks to the left, trying to get the center fielder over there, and all of a sudden they, it, they give me the left fielder who's now running away from the <laughs> ball. Chimo Gaspar, runner at second base with no outs. Chimo Gaspar is up, and uh, yeah, this whole thing's gone to the dogs pretty relatively quickly. So uh, you get what you get, folks. What <laughs> gets to be 13 3. Mashadanga 0 for 4 today, tense but fit. I don't know how anybody on the OL, well, because she's the only one not hitting. 0 for 4 today, she's an off speed hitter. Uh, she's got easy jumps for Dana Uppers. That's in there for called strike. Strike one while pitching opposing base runners gain increased running speed. But the runner's at third, so one ball, yeah. one strike, one out. Runner at third base. Uh, wide load's up 13-3. to three. That one's fouled off. Mashadonga now behind in the count, one and two. There's a roller to the shortstop, and they're going to they're gonna let concede the run because, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. So the, run, the throw to first gets the run, uh, Mashadonga, so two outs and in steps hack liner. He's one for four today. Score now 14-3. to three. Dana Yuppers throwing her 14th pitch. There's a roller to Enoch Hughes. Going to pick that up, double pump, make the throw to first for the third out. So we're going to head into the bottom of the seventh. It's now wide loads 14, Ramblers 3. Ken Bernal, 1 for 2 with a double and a striker out. Hector Clements 0 for 1. And Marcus Murillo, 1 for 3. Elise Bobber threw six pitches and gave up one hit in her half of the sixth. Ken Bernal, the catcher, neutral and fit. He's durable. He's 1 for 2 with a double. Kenny Bernal, one for two. First pitch to Bernal's in there for called strike. Strike one. Allen's low ball one. That'll even the count. One ball, one strike. Oh, really? That kicks the outside corner. One ball, two strikes. Allen's high. Two and two. <laughs> Allen's rocketed foul along the third baseline. Two balls, two strikes. There's a shot in the straightaway center field. It's in the air. 
Center fielder Hobbs is calling for it. He'll make the catch for the first out. One up, one down, and then steps Hector Clements. Hector locked in. 0 for 1 with an RBI. Hector. Got 11 run game. First one's there for strike. 0 on the count. Second one's there for ball. One apiece. <laughs> Bottom of the seventh inning. 14 to 3. That one misses outside. 2 1 the count. Bobbert's throwing still. There's one past the mound into center field. That's a good way to get in there, Hector. Get on base with one out. Yes, sir. One on with one out. In steps Marcus Murillo. He's locked in and juiced. He's one for three today with a single. Home run would help us out here, Marcus. 14 to three wide loads. First pitch to uh, Murillo's high ball one. One ball, no strikes. We've got some speed at first base. Nope. That one's rocketed high into the air in shallow left center field. Uh, Fungo Akira will make the catch for the second out. Runner can't advance, so with two outs and a runner at first base, in steps No McLean. No McLean. All right, No. He's locked in. You never know. Two outs. That one in the dirt. This is ball one, one on the count. Second pitch ah. on the ground, straight to Friedman at second. Throws him out before he's halfway to first. Yep, we're going to head into the top of the eighth. It's 14-3 wide loads. Darcy Hicks, two for four with a home run. Wade Hobbs, one for four with a double and three strikeouts. Harmony Strauss, four for four with two home runs. Danny Uppers at 14 pitches, giving up two hits. Darcy Hicks, the designated hitter, is neutral and juiced. He favors the inside pitch. He's two for four, a home run, a single. Hmm. And two, I think it was two strike. Oh, I'm pitching. Dana Yuppers has got her ear is down to a 9-3-5. Uh, she got five Ks looking for six. Go through her 15th pitch to start the eighth inning here. Be nice to keep these guys off the board for the last two innings. First pitch, break it, misses low. 1-0 the count. Oh, what a horrible performance today. There's one right past her ear in the center field. Corbin where to pick that up. Yeah, one batter, one hit. And now we got to get that. We haven't got that double play yet. Number 13. I don't know what this is about. <laughs> and I heard a girl scream. Was that what? <laughs> First pitch slayer. Oh, the outfield there gets past him into center field on the first pitch. It's a clean he single. He slayed it. <laughs> what? <laughs> he slayed it. Yeah. All right, now brings in Harmony Strauss. Four for four. Two home runs, two singles, four RBIs. She's looking for her third home run. And the outfield's going to fade back. Deep. Need that triple play. Oh, up near her face, brushes her back. Danny Uppers ain't afraid of nobody. There's one on the ground. The Murillo's going to have to go to second. They can't get the triple play, but they'll get the double play, Pete. Yes, sir. So, runner at third base with two outs in steps. Oh, you're doing that. No, that's fine. It's good. It's, you know, other than he's three for four, three singles is Fungo Akiro. But uh, it was really nice to get that double play. A little bright spot in the afternoon. And then Ump's got something going on. <laughs> Back there, first pitch right there for a strike. Got to, got to get some, try some new powder. That one low and inside misses one apiece now. The fast front third base. We need this out. Can't let him score again. This gets the outside corner one and two to count. She's got him in a hole. Sure would be nice to see her six K. Reaches down the ground. McLean's gonna reach over, pick that up, and gun him down on the way to first, Pete. Yes, we're going into the bottom of the eighth. Wide loads 14, Ramblers 3, Swindle Heath 2 for 3 with a home run and a strikeout. Corbin Yurta 1 for 3, and Enoch Hugh 0 for 1. At least Bobbert at 20 pitches and giving up 2 hits, or he is still at a 0. I'd like to put something on her just before we leave. Swindle Heath, the left fielder, locked in and fit. It's 2 for 3 with a home run, a single, and an RBI. Come on, Swindle. Let's, put a, let's hang one on her here. 14-3. First pitch to Heath is low, ball one. There's a roller to the second baseman, Friedman. He'll pick it up, make the throw to first for the first out. One up, one down, and in steps Corbin Yurta. Swindle Heath not happy with himself after that performance. What a frustrating day for everybody. Uh, Corbin Yurta, one for three. There's a home run, but it's a, it's a liner to right field that's going to be. Oh, the, the outfielder dives, and Huerta's going to make it around to second base for a stand up double. Way to get a lead up. Well, they get a stand up double there, Corbin. Yes, sir. So one on with one out. Let's get him around. Like I said, let's just hang something on her. Enoch yeah. Q, the third baseman, is neutral and fit. He's 0 for 1 today. Hey. Robert's going to take a seat. They're going to bring in uh, the B minus ranked closing pitcher, Rogan Balls. <laughs> 
Rogan Balls has excellent velocity, less than average junk, and uh, less than average accuracy. He's neutral and juiced, Tom. He's <laughs> juiced. He's got a 10.8 ERA, a 3.0 whip, three strikeouts on the season. He does have an elite cut finger fastball. He throws the fastball, the four finger fastball, the cut fastball, and the curveball. He's almost all uh, completely rested up, and he's a right handed pitcher. So now pitching Rogan Balls facing off against Enoch Hugh. First pitch to Hugh is low ball one. One ball, no strikes. There's a roller to Fried, uh, Friedman at second base. He'll make the throw over to first for the second out. So uh, runner at third base with uh, two outs and insteps, Kid Paul. All right, well, we got two. Maybe we get one more run here. Kid Paul, the RBI hero with two outs. Oh. Pushes that one. Oh, oh, and the tough dive. He misses, but is he going to? Oh, he finally runs out the, the. Wow, he just barely ran that up. He gets an infield single and scores one more run. That's right, and that run will go against uh, what's her name? Repo Reeves, the designated hitter, 0 for 1 today. So one out with two outs. There's a roller to Friedman. He'll pick that up, make the throw to first for the third out. So we're going to head into the ninth inning. And it's uh, wide loads, 14 runs on 19 hits. The Ramblers, four runs on 12 hits. The Andres Friedman, three for four with two home runs. Ella Royds, three for four, a home run, two doubles and a strikeout. Chivo Gaspar, 0 for four with two strikeouts. The uppers at 23 pitches. The Andres Friedman, the second baseman, is locked in. And Fitties, three for four, two home runs, a single, five RBIs. These guys, Jesus, oh, Repo, Repo Reeves just pulled his hammy. I was going to say, and Friedman's fielded like half of... Half of the, yeah. the, uh, the stuff today. A lot of ground balls to the second baseman today. Yeah, yeah. poor Repo Reeves, though. So, I don't know how long we're going to be without his services. He, it, Repo is the, the DH, right? Uh, No. Oh, well, yes. I think we did okay. put him in as de designated hitter. Okay, okay, okay. So Repo Reeves will take the seat after the, the injury. They're going to bring in Kaylee Lungcaster, who's a B-manus ranked left fielder, outfielder. He'll be designated pinch hitting. Uh, Lancaster is um, got less than average power. He's got good ability to connect, less than average speed. He's known as a big hack, but he's also volatile. Um, he's neutral and fit, hitting 259 with a home run and three RBIs. What does volatile mean? Does anybody I, know? I anybody know. class? Volatile <laughs> means the mojo changes at a 25% faster rate from play to play and game to game. So he gets uh, he gets pretty uh, he can either get really happy or really sad pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's first moody. pitch he's moody. <laughs> exactly. First pitch to Friedman is catches the outside corner for called strike. Strike one. Strike. And the swing and a miss. Strike two. And now Janus Friedman, the second baseman, is in the hole. No balls, two strikes. Nobody on. Nobody out. Top of the ninth. There's a crack that's going to fall into uh center field for Clint single here though will get it and throw it into Mario at second base so one on with no outs in steps Ella Royds the right fielder she's locked in and fit she's three for four a home run two doubles and three RBIs Tommy geez I cannot wait to see the stat lines of this team uh, yeah. it's gonna be nuts first pitch to Royds is in there for a called strike strike one one on nobody out throw over to first and Friedman is back so one on with no outs that one's fouled off. That'll uh, put Ella Royds in the hole. No balls, two strikes. Throw to first, and Friedman is back. That was her second disengagement. One more, and uh, Friedman will get second. There's a... Oh. And there's a line drive foul along the first baseline. Clements made a play for it, but couldn't get it. Two, no balls, two strikes. There's a swinging bunt foul. So Royds will get another pitch. No balls, two strikes. Now it's inside, ball one. One ball, two strikes. Now it's fouled off over the dugout in uh, the third base side. The upper store her 33rd pitch. That's going to go for a single into uh, left field, and they'll throw the ball in. So runners now at first and second with no outs. And in steps Chimo Gaspar, the shortstop. He's tense, but fit. He's 0 for 4 today. So two on, nobody out. Chimo Gaspar, the shortstop, favors the low pitch. Got good connection versus left-handed pitching. The upper store her 34th pitch, and that's rocketed into yeah. uh, left field. And Swindle Heath will make the catch. Uh, the runners will have to stay where they are. So one out, uh, runners at second, uh, first and second with one out. And then steps Masha Danga. She's tense but fit. 
0 for 5 today with an RBI. Mm. She's an off-speed hitter with a noodle arm, though. Danny Yepper's pitches makes the first pitch. That's uh, as the rump said, strike and a half. That's a swing and a miss, strike two, and now Ivasha Danga is in the hole. No balls, two strikes, one out. That's in it for Cole. Third strike, a no swing strikeout from her Dana Yuppers. And now runners at first and second with two outs. In steps Hack Liner, the third baseman. He's locked in and it fit. He's a, a big hack and he's one for five today. One for five, big hack. Really? That one's low, ball one. A one ball, no strikes to Hack Liner, the third baseman. And that's going to be into. Right field and Enoch Q will uh not who's playing third uh right field? Uh don't know. I don't know either. The third baseman throws it in the home to hold everybody up. Base is loaded now with two outs. Uh Darcy Hicks, the designated hitter, is in. He's a he favors the inside pitch. He pops that one up into shallow right field, and Marcus Murillo is there and make the catch for the third out. So we're gonna head into the bottom of the ninth. The Ramblers need 10 to tie, 11 to win. <laughs> Ken Bernal, one for three with a double and a strikeout. Hector Clements, one for two. And Marcus Murillo, one for four, going to face off against Rogan Balls, who threw four pitches and gave up a hit as the is at a 7.71. Ken Bernal, the catcher, is neutral and fit. He's one for three with a double. He's also durable. He is. That's one thing about him I know. Inside corner, ball one. One another count misses ball one. Second one makes the inside corner somehow. 98 miles an hour, one apiece. Like Pete said, we got 10 runs to get back in this. Right past his face into center field. Way to go, Kenny. Kenny's on first, Pete. Yes, sir. One on with no outs and in steps. Good old Hector Clements. He's locked in and fit. He's one for two with a single and an RBI. So runner at first base with nobody out. Hector Clements. Really? For, takes first pitch for a called strike. Strike one. That one's, whoa, inside. Clemens had to get out of the way of that one. One ball, one strike. That one's ripped foul into the dugout along the first baseline. There's a shot that's going to get into uh, center field for a clean single. So runners at first and second with no outs. And in steps Marcus Murillo. Marcos locked in juice still one just one for four. We need to go two for five. We got runners at first and or at second. Yeah, first and second. This one never strike. Oh, on the count. Three run home run to make it seven. Get us within seven. <laughs> that one misses outside. We're even at one apiece. Her ball inside on nope. the ground. Caspar instead, double it's the play. double play. Over to second for one. Back to first yeah. for two. Dang it. Double play. Runner at third base with two outs. In steps. No McLean, the shortstop. He's two for four with a home run, a single, and an RBI. One more run would be all right with me. 14-4, wide loads. First pitch to Noah McLean is over the outside corner for called strike. Strike one. That one's fouled off along the third baseline. Very quickly, he's in the hole. 0-2. That one's outside, ball one. One ball, two strikes. That one's out. Oh, fouled off. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Yeah. There's a shot to Friedman at second base. He'll make the throw to first, and that'll end the game. Ramblers lose another one, two in a row, and this one was ugly from the get-go. This was ugly from the jump off. Yeah, we never, we never had a chance in this game. Never, never had a chance. It's, they beat us so badly. We didn't belong to be here today. Well, no. you know, and uh, it was all home runs. It was a home run derby. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be hard to put all those together, all those highlights. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. The, well, one good thing to say about this, we get another crack at these guys in their building. So we have to go over there. We have to just undress them like that. <laughs> like they, they get three in the first. We don't answer. They get one more in the second. We get one, say, hey, we're here. And then they just pummel us uh, with four more in the fourth, three more in the fifth. We get two. Okay. They get two more in the sixth, one more in the seventh. <laughs> we get one in the eighth. Uh, somehow we held them off the board for a third of this game. In the third, eighth, and the ninth, they didn't get any runs. They ended up getting 14 runs on 22 hits to our four runs on 14. For hitting, Mashadonga goes 0 for 6, but gets an RBI, uh, gets struck out twice. Heck, Liner, 2 for 6 with a run. And now here's where it really starts to, to heat up. Darcy Hicks, 3 for 6, two runs, a home run, an RBI. Wade Hobbs, two for five with a run um, and three strikeouts. 
Uh, Harmony Strauss, four for five, four runs, two home runs, four RBIs. That's not even the best. Bungo Akira goes three for five, two runs. Here it is. Yadis Freeman, four for five, two runs, two home runs, five RBIs. Elleroy, those two, those two players got nine runs. Strauss and Freeman. If we could have just pitched around yep. them, we pitch around yeah. those two. Uh, Elroyds goes four for five with two runs, gets a home run and three RBIs herself, so also very good with a strikeout. And Chimo Gaspar, uh, for some reason, goes 0 for five with two strikeouts. Yeah, and for the Ramblers, uh, we got uh, Marcus Murillo, who was supposed to be, you know, go great guns. He was one for five. Yeah. No, McLean goes two for five, scored a run, did hit a home run, and picked up an RBI. Would have been nice if he could have hit it with a couple people on base, but we'll take it. Uh, Swindle Heath goes two for four, scored a run, hits a home run, and picks up an RBI. He also struck out once. Corbin Hirta goes two for four, uh, scored a run. Spray Bellamy goes 0 for two with a strikeout before he got pulled. Enoch Hugh came in, goes 0 for two. Gave the first pitch he saw a good ride, but yeah. uh, came up a little short. And then, of course, he, he didn't do anything the second time up. Kid Paul, uh, the big winner for the, uh, the Ramblers, he goes three for four, scored a run, and picked up an RBI. Good for you, kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, Johnny Contreras goes 0 for two with a strikeout. Repo Reeves 0 for two. Kaylee Lancaster did not get an official at back. Came in in the ninth inning, so he never even got into the box. Uh, Ken Bernal goes two for four uh, with a strikeout, and Hector Clements goes two for three with an RBI. So, you know, just ugly all the way around. <laughs> Pitching, uh, Latoya Lumber gets the win, throws five innings, gives up eight hits, three earned runs, uh, strikes out four batters, and gives up two home runs. Her ERA rests at a 418. She's now 2 1 0 on the season. Uh, Elise Bobbert, I think, goes two in the third innings, gives up three hits, one earned run. <laughs> ERA is a 0.9. That's awesome. Has no record. And Rogan Ball is a formidable closer. Comes in, throws one and two thirds inning, gives up just three hits. Uh, his ERA falls to a 5 4 0. He's 0 1 and 1 in the season. And then for the Ramblers, Jet Dapper will get saddled with the loss. He pitched three whole innings. He went, he gave up eight hits, eight earned runs, and that was really the game. He did strike out three, but he gives up five home runs. Uh, his ERA is at 11.88. His record will fall to one win, three losses. And, and I got to believe somewhere in that Rambler organization, there's going to be a meeting because I think the goodwill for Jet Dapper has just been worn out. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> yeah. He's done. Jet Dapper is done. Uh, Leland Bull pitched two and two-thirds innings. He gave up seven hits, five earned runs. His uh, He racked up four strikeouts, but he gave up a, a home run, and his ERA jumps up to a 5.52. And his record will remain two wins and one save. Uh, Dana Yuppers came in, pitched three and a third innings, gave up seven hits, one earned run, struck out one. Her ERA is at a 7.59, and her record will remain no wins, no losses, and two saves. Uh, three stars of the game. The first star of the game, uh, the B rank second baseman, third baseman for the Wido Giannis Friedman. We all knew that was coming. Uh, he goes four for five, hits two home runs, racks up five RBIs, and uh, and he, he uh, scored two runs himself. Yes. And I think he could he, he alone could have beaten the, the Ramblers today, right? We yeah. only wound up with four four runs, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, I believe yeah. so. Well, yeah, so the uh, yeah the, the next one, Harmony Strauss with a title. Number 42, the uh, B-plus ranked catcher. Second star of the game, like all three of the stars, goes four for five, gets two home runs, four RBIs, and scores four runs. Yeah, and then uh, rounding out the three stars of the game, the B-minus ranked right fielder catcher, Ella Royds. She got, again, four for five with a home run, two uh, doubles, two doubles and three RBIs. She scored two runs herself. So, yeah, I mean, that's a formidable lineup right there in those three. Gamer stats, Tommy G with six hits, one home run, one RBI, one great catch, four strikeouts for a contribution of 48%. PJ with eight hits, one home run, three RBIs, one great catch, four strikeouts, for a contribution of 52 percent we get back on top there man it's a it's such a horrible game yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah well way to be way to be the best of the worst <laughs> yes yes oh uh, post game show well the, the the good news is that's over jeez yeah oh sorry you had, was... sorry you had to watch that if you're a fan at all <laughs> yeah i mean that, that, i was i was really kind of excited yeah. after yeah. the performance we put up against the wax bills you're like yeah. okay these guys can hang and, and to be honest with you, you know, it's it's Jet Dapper. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it wasn't like there were bad. There was one bad 
fielding play. I think it was Kid Paul in right field. It was a took a bad tact on a on a, on a fly ball. But uh, yeah. the reality is that by the time that happened, the game was over. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and, and they had, and it was all it was all dapper, like you were saying. It was a home run derby. The guy was a pitching machine out there, and it's uh, you know, yeah, yeah. It was it, it was, was it was all pitching today. Yeah, well, and also sure too. We're not, this is not a we don't. Jack does make it easy. This is tough. This game will beat you. Uh, Squelch wants a new face for their acid rain campaign. Who are you gonna? Who are you gonna suggest? Uh, oh, so it's only a plus load. We got to go with spray, right? Spray's been a whiny little. Yeah. So and so. Yeah, brat. yeah. So we're gonna go with spray, right? Okay. All the way up to a sixty-four. He's not so angry. Jump to sports equipment. Send over some complimentary eye black stick. I black sticks and there's one left who gets one. It's also a loyalty. Let's give it to Bore Reliable, right? Yeah. Bring him up there for it goes up to a 78. All right. All right. Well, yeah, that was that was that was not a good one. Yeah, even though we're, we're at an hour 15, we're at the halfway mark of the season. So let's let's look at. Uh, well, I guess well, first of all, is there news? Um, you know, this could take a minute with this. Wait, where, where's our game? Wow, there's a lot of news. There's a lot, right. a lot of news, yeah. All right, so Marcus Murillo won the Rec League Dodgeball Championship. Uh, his fielding goes from an 86 up to a 93. Wow, way to go, Marcus. Yes, sir. And then Rocky Backstop offended a freebooters coach and was replaced by Sullivan Yaz. Yans. So the release player of Rocky Backstop uh, is a 30-year-old catcher, third baseman. He's C-ranked overall. Uh, he's better known for his ability to connect at home plate. He does not have very much power. Um, he's about an average uh, fielder with a poor arm um, and about average speed on the base pass. They're going to pick up in return. They'll get uh, Sullivan Yans. Sullivan Yans is a 19-year-old right fielder, first baseman outfielder. He's ranked C+. Plus. He's got about uh, a little bit better than average power. He's, he struggles to make contact at times, but uh, not too often. He is a speedster. He's got a lot of speed, um, and then he's about an average fielder with an average arm. He favors the inside pitch, and he's also volatile. Um, they picked up Yans for three million seven hundred thousand, which is going to cost them only three uh, three hundred thousand more than they were playing paying backstop. So yeah, good good for the freebooters. Good for Yans. Bad for backstop. I really like backstop. He's, he's pretty good. But uh... I do too. But he's kind of old. And and to be honest with you, as a catcher. Um, he just doesn't have yeah. the arm. No, he 17 have arm. He's, the first yeah. thing, I, my eyes perked up, and then I saw what his arm was. I'm like, okay. Uh, Lawrence Parker gets signed onto the Heaters, replacing Air Lovestone. So Air Lovestone, a 29-year-old starter, uh, B-minus ranked, by the way, uh, with an elite work pitch and a workhorse. Gets let go. She was making $6.7 million a year. She was known mostly for her accuracy. She also has good junk and velocity as well. So she's she'll be an asset for any for any team. Uh, Lawrence Parker, 25-year-old starter, uh, B-ranked, known mostly for his accuracy as well. Uh, he, they gain on, on velocity, junk, and accuracy, uh, and power. Actually, he's got power. He lives in connectivity. He's going to make seven million dollars a year. So they, they actually, I mean, uh, um, uh, Air Lovestone was good, and it looks like Lawrence Parker is even a little bit better. Okay. And uh, after his poor performance against the Ramblers, uh, the Wide Loads have uh, have decided to part ways with Wade Hobbs. Uh, Azalea Fields is going to come in, and she's going to replace Wade Hobbs. Uh, Wade Hobbs, of course, we know him very well after the game we just played. He's a B-ranked uh, 29-year-old center fielder with good power, about average ability to connect and speed on the base pass. He's got he's a good fielder with an average arm. He's a first pitch slayer, but also a choker. And they're going to bring in Azalea Fields, who's a 26-year-old shortstop third baseman. She's B plus ranked overall with uh, good power, not as good as uh, as Wade Hobbs, but good power. She's got uh, a really good ability to connect at home plate. She's got less than average speed on a base pass, but uh, not too much less. And then she's uh, a, a pretty good fielder with a strong arm. So um, yeah, good pickup. Yeah. Uh, Wade, uh, Wade Hobbs was making nine million two hundred thousand. Azalea Fields is only going to get eight million five hundred thousand. So they're going to make a savings there of about seven hundred thousand dollars and wind up with, a, in my opinion, yeah. a better player. Yeah, although Wade Hobbs is going to land somewhere real soon too because he's he's good. Yeah. 
A uh, uh, first center fielder, yeah. He's, yeah. he's got that. He's a good fielder out there. Uh, Ariel McGriddle gets signed on the B-Wolves, replacing Benny Bal- Balmer. Okay, Benny Balmer got let go again. Uh, 43-year-old left fielder, outfielder. Came back for this season, and then looks like the B-Wolves are going to let him go. C-plus ranked uh, left field outfielder, Clutch. Clutch hitter. Uh, was um, mo- no, mostly for his fielding his arms. Good, real good fielder. He's, he's a fair hitter. He was making $5.1 million a year to play at, in Phoenix. They're going to pick up Ariel McGriddle, 32-year-old shortstop. Interesting, because uh, they've got they've got Hanley Dex there. She's A-ranked, 93 power, 76 connectivity, 74 speed, 51 fielding, and a 66 arm. Known as a stealer. She's going to pay $12.9 million a year. I'm not sure I understand that. Uh, I, w- I, would, I was just going to say, we should check the free agent wire and see if they just released him. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll see, yeah, because he's... Unless they're good, uh, he's he's uh, utility, so he could play anywhere. So maybe they're right. putting him in a different position. I don't know. Maybe they're putting him in left field yeah. for Benny Balmer. Yep. Well, we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to look into that. The Moonstar signed Brady South to replace Rusty Bustum. Rusty oh. Bustum, the C rank, 35 year old first baseman with average power, a uh, good ability to connect, but uh, poor speed, poor fielding, and a poor arm. He was making four million three hundred thousand dollars, which is way too much for a guy with poor feet, poor yeah, feet, yeah. poor arm. Uh, and they're going to bring in Brady South. Brady South is a twenty-nine-year-old center fielder, first baseman, B ranked overall with good power, about average ability to connect, average speed on the base pass. He's a good fielder with a little bit less than average arm. He's going to make seven million three hundred thousand dollars to play for the Moon Stars, Tommy. All right. Jamal Peck offended a blowfish coach or was played, replaced by Jeff Deep. Uh, Jamal Peck, 26-year-old uh, right fielder, first baseman, good contact against left-handed uh, pitchers and a sign stealer, known mostly for his arm and also good speed, B-minus rank. He was making $6.3 million a year. He's going to be replaced by uh, Jeff Deep, who's uh, B-ranked, 27-year-old shortstop, second baseman, known mostly for his connectivity, also a very good fielder on the little hack. And uh, Deep's going to make $7.5 million a year to play in L.A. Ooh. Jake Gutterson has offended a blowfish coach, Tommy, and he's going to be replaced by Silas Manthrop. Uh, Keg Gutterson was a 30, 38-year-old third baseman shortstop with an RBI hero trait. He was B overall with good power, good, a really good ability to connect, but uh, poor speed on the base pass, poor fielding, and uh, and a good arm. Um, they're going to bring in uh, Silas Manthrop, who is a 31-year-old third baseman, B plus ranked overall with good power, good ability to connect, uh, less than average speed on the base pass, uh, good fielding and a good arm. He's got good connection versus left-handed pitching, and he's known as a sprinter. Um, Keg Gutterson was making $8,500,000. They're going to bring in Silas Manthrop, and they're going to pay him $8,100,000. So uh, they're going to save $400,000 on the transaction, Tommy. Oh, uh, yeah. Keg is a good third baseman. He's going to go somewhere. Um, in fact, <laughs> let's keep an eye on him. Uh, Fleet Keller gets signed on to the Grapplers, replacing Biff Noggins. Wow. The Bra- Grapplers are going Biff Noggins, C-plus ranked 37-year-old left fielder catcher. Also known as a distractor, he's known mostly for his arm. He's got good power as well. He, uh, and uh, Biff Noggins was making five million dollars a year. Fleet Keller, C plus ranked, age 22 year old left fielder, known mostly for his connectivity. Great contact there, with 96, 81 speed. He's got bad jumps up. He's gonna play, get paid 3.9 million dollars a year to play in Tampa Bay for the Grapplers. Buck Growls, Buck Growls gets signed onto the Moonstars to replace Clyde Oliver. Clyde Oliver is a C-minus ranked 38-year-old left fielder outfielder with a pinch perfect attribute. Um, he's got poor power, but uh, good ability to connect, poor speed on the base pass, good fielding with poor a poor arm, which is bad for an outfielder. <laughs> yeah. And they're going to bring in um, Buck Rowles, who's a 25-year-old second baseman shortstop. The other thing I'm noticing in there, everybody's going younger. Yeah. A lot of these older people are being replaced by the younger the players. Uh, Growls is a C plus ranked uh, second baseman shortstop with uh, uh, poor power, about average ability to connect, average speed on the base pass, good fielding, but with poor a poor arm. He's known as a bunter. Um, 
Clyde Oliver is making three million two hundred thousand, and Buck Rowles is going to make three million three hundred thousand. So they're going to pay him a hundred thousand dollars more to play uh, for the Moon Stars. All right. Uh, Caleb Porchetto hasn't been eating as much protein lately, so one of the guys we're looking at uh, drops his power from 44 down to 36. Okay, and then it looks like it's uh, all player development stuff. Um, and we could pay for some player development. You want to do any of that right now? or I don't know, we're That's up to you. We're closing in an hour. I really wanted to do the lead right. leaders at the halfway point, but we're closing in an hour and a half here. So all right, we can do I, it before the next I, game. Yeah, I think we gotta we gotta cut that out. Uh, yeah, so I guess where we are, you know, right now, if you look at the summary, halfway mark of the season, uh, ten and nine. We got a winning record, so it hasn't been a bad half. Uh, it ended on a losing streak, but uh, if we shoot, I don't know. I mean, if we had the second, if we went twenty and eighteen, I don't know if we. We wouldn't get first place probably. I don't know if we'd be a wild card. I mean, we're we're close for for a fran for a, a expansion team. We may you know make a few changes, but uh, I don't. I think we're on a we're on a good path. We need some course correction, but we're I don't think we're we're not heading in the wrong direction. No, I don't either. Um, like I said, I, I, we've taught the the issues. We know what the issues are. Um, we need speed. This team has no speed, and it, yeah. it, it hurts them a lot. Um, we saw the other issue this team has is pitching. They just they, they yeah. just don't have pitching. We have, I think, uh, our number one and number two I like, uh, but three and four can both go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we need I think we need better relief pitching as well. Right now, the entire relief burden is being carried by two pitchers, Leland Bull and Bohr Reliable. Danny Uppers, oh, excuse me. Is playing all right. Yeah, Danny Yepers has had um, she had her first outing was not very good, but she's looked good ever since. Yeah. Um, so I'm happy with that. But then the uh, Twist Gutierrez does not. I mean, he doesn't look very good. I, I you know he's had one good outing, yeah, and uh, you know he's had two or three poor outings. So yeah. and and I'll take the blame for the last. Put him in a bad situation, but um, you know he didn't do much to get out of it. So. Uh, so I think we need to, those are the two biggest areas that I'm hoping as we move into the second half of the season we'll start to address. It's difficult because you start to get attached to some of the players um, and we are going to have to make some hard moves um, to bring in speed. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's hard yeah. because like I say, they're, they're, all of them are good hitters. They tend to hit very well. It's just yeah. their lack of speed. Uh, both be, you know, being able to try and, and steal and get out of double play situations um we hit into a lot of double plays just because we don't have enough speed to try and steal yeah yeah um the other thing is covering the the uh on defense they're just not fast enough to cover the positions you know and then, yeah. then a lot of uh singles through the infield um that should be caught and turned for for an out wind up rolling into the outfield because we just don't have the speed to cover it so right true all right well yeah, we kept the season, uh, we kept the team together this this late in the season. Uh, with maybe some changes soon, but uh, it's been a good it's been a good start so far. We got some, some right. room for growth. Uh, until the next game, where we are hosting one more home game uh, before we hit the road again. Until then, this is Tommy G, and this is PJ, and we're saying get out of here.